Imagine a fighter jet first designed in the 1990s, now preparing to dominate the skies all the way to 2055. Sounds impossible, right? Yet India's Sukhoi Su 30 MKI is undergoing a transformation so massive it could rewrite the future of aerial warfare. Known as the Super 30 upgrade, this modernization promises to keep the Su-30 not just relevant, but at the cutting edge of combat aviation for decades to come. At its core, the Su-30 MKI has always been a workhorse. Powerful engines, super maneuverability, and versatility across missions. But technology never stands still. Modern radar systems, electronic warfare, and advanced missiles are changing the rules of air combat. Without upgrades, even the most legendary fighters risk becoming obsolete. And that's exactly why the Indian Air Force is betting big, over $7 billion, to turn the Su-30 MKY into something truly extraordinary. So, what makes the Super 30 upgrade so special? Picture the Su-30 equipped with next-generation AESA radars, cutting-edge avionics, and integration of long-range weapons like the BrahMos, a supersonic cruise missile. Add indigenous systems designed for electronic warfare, and suddenly this familiar fighter starts looking like a beast ready to take on fifth-generation threats. The upgrade isn't just cosmetic, it's about redefining what a 4.5-generation fighter can achieve on tomorrow's battlefield. But here's the twist. While India doubles down on the Su-30, other nations are investing heavily in stealth fighters like the F-35 and Su-57. Can a heavily modernized Su-30 really compete with jets designed to be invisible? Or will sheer firepower, advanced sensors, and battle-tested reliability prove enough to level the playing field? That question has divided experts worldwide, and it's exactly what makes the Super 30 program so fascinating. In this video, we'll dive deep into the history of the Su-30 MKI, uncover the secrets of the Super 30 upgrade, and explore whether India's iconic fighter can truly rule the skies until 2055. Buckle up, because this isn't just about one aircraft. It's about the future of air dominance in one of the world's most contested skies. And by the end, you'll see why the Su-30 story is far from over. The story of the Su-30 begins in the late Cold War, when the Soviet Union needed a versatile, long-range fighter to complement its interceptors and bombers. Derived from the Su-27 flanker, the Su-30 was envisioned as a two-seat multi-role fighter capable of air superiority, ground strike, and command missions. Unlike its predecessors, it wasn't just about dogfighting. It was about creating a platform flexible enough to adapt to evolving threats making it one of the most ambitious designs of its era. When the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, Russia faced economic struggles, but Sukhoi turned the Su-30 into an export success. India, searching for a modern fighter to counter Pakistan and China, became the biggest customer. The result was the Su-30 MKI, an Indian-specific variant customized with French avionics Israeli electronic warfare systems, and Indian inputs. This wasn't just a purchase. It was a partnership that gave India one of the most advanced fighters in Asia at the time. The Su-30 MKI quickly became the backbone of the Indian Air Force. With its thrust vectoring engines, it could perform maneuvers no Western fighter dared to attempt, including the famous Cobra and tail slide. More importantly, its long-range and heavy weapons load made it ideal for defending India's vast territory and projecting power beyond its borders. By the early 2000s, the Su-30 MKY had earned the reputation of being one of the deadliest non-stealth fighters in the world. However, as the years passed, the battlefield changed. China invested heavily in stealth technology, fielding the J-20, the United States spread its F-35s across allies. Even Pakistan began modernizing its fleet with JF-17 upgrades. Suddenly, the Su-30 MKI, designed in the 1990s, 
looked like it might fall behind. Questions emerged. Could India's frontline fighter keep pace in an era dominated by stealth, electronic warfare, and beyond visual range missiles? The answer came in the form of the ambitious Super 30 upgrade program. The Super 30 project isn't just a facelift, it's a complete transformation. At its core is the integration of the UTAM ESA radar, a state-of-the-art Indian design system giving pilots unmatched detection and tracking capabilities. This radar allows simultaneous tracking of multiple targets across land, air, and sea, giving the Su-30 a situational awareness leap. Combined with improved mission computers, glass cockpit displays, and advanced electronic warfare suites, the Su-30 starts to resemble a fighter designed for the 21st century rather than the 20th. The Super 30 project isn't just a facelift, it's a complete transformation. At its core is the integration of the UTAM ESA radar, a state-of-the-art Indian design system giving pilots unmatched detection and tracking capabilities. This radar allows simultaneous tracking of multiple targets across land, air, and sea, giving the Su-30 a situational awareness leap. Combined with improved mission computers, glass cockpit displays, and advanced electronic warfare suites, the Su-30 starts to resemble a fighter designed for the 21st century rather than the 20th. The upgrade also focuses on survivability. In modern warfare, electronic warfare is as important as missiles or guns. The Super 30 will feature advanced self-protection jammers, radar warning receivers, and countermeasure systems to evade the latest surface-to-air missiles. Combined with its raw maneuverability, the Su-30 gains a survival edge, making it more than capable of holding its own against fifth-generation adversaries, even if it lacks stealth. This balance between firepower and protection is what makes the Super 30 a true force multiplier. But the real question remains, can the Su-30 remain India's frontline fighter until 2055? On paper, the upgrades give it decades of relevance. Yet the world is moving fast. Hypersonic weapons, drones, and stealth technologies are reshaping the battlefield. While the Super 30 ensures India's current fleet stays formidable, many experts argue that it's a stopgap until India's indigenous AMCA stealth fighter takes flight. Still, with over 260 Su-30s in service, India cannot afford to let them fade into obsolescence. The Su-30's story is proof that great fighters never fade. They evolve. With the Super 30 upgrade, India ensures its air dominance remains unchallenged well into the future. But the question remains, can this Cold War giant truly rule the skies until 2055? Only time will tell.